Guess how much this foundation was. I don't want to guess. Guess. Because. Guess, 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 guess. Um, sixty dollars. Crystal, this foundation was on. Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your fave, Angie Rose. <laughs> and if you couldn't tell by the title of this video, we are testing out a hundred fifty-two doll hair foundation. Yes, I know, I know, you're like. $152, really? But I have to try it out. I've had my eye on this foundation since it released in January. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. I think that's what's called the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiant Foundation. It released earlier this year, but I had to get my hands on it. And I know, you're like, what? You. I know, but that's what I'm here for you. That's what I'm here for you guys. I'm here to test out products for you, find dupes and alternatives if you don't want to spend 155 doll hairs on a foundation. So, I'm so excited for this video because this is actually the first like foundation that I'm testing out and using on my channel. So it's just so cool because it's like, why not use the most bougie and expensive foundation, right? Let's just get into it. Let's get into this. So I was like, you know what, why not? This is like the perfect foundation to review for the first time ever on my channel. So it's like, let's see if it's worth the hype, you know? See if this is black skin friendly because some of these brands out here be acting fucking loud. But can I curse on YouTube? I don't know. say what it is. So on the Nordstrom website, it says what it is, a medium to full coverage foundation with a three-dimensional radiance that reflects soft light. So you can see my little fingers on it. And this is the ingredients list. I don't know if it'll focus. This is the ingredients list. So before I um, try out the foundation on camera for you guys, um, what I will say is I'm kind of disappointed that I never looked at the ingredients list. I probably would have bought it already anyways, but I wish I would have done a little bit more research because, so this is a, this is a foundation with um, sunscreen in it and there's, it's like a chemical sunscreen. So if you don't know what that means, so it's a chemical sunscreen. I, I'm not an esthetician, I don't know what it. All I know is that a lot of chemical sunscreens so I have dry sensitive skin, so a lot of chemical sunscreens either break me out, give me headaches, or do both. I'm so a little skeptical now because I'm like, damn, did I just really spend all this money on something that's gonna break me out? But the thing is, I've already done that before. I bought the Pat McGrath Foundation and that one broke me out and that was 68 doll hairs. Mind you, this is like almost $100 more, but look how lux this looks. Just look at like, I don't have like a turntable, so I'm not like a professional YouTuber, but just look at that. It is beautiful. And it's weight, like, when I say this is weighted, this is, like, this feels as heavy as like a Pat McGrath, like, palette. Like, you know, like, you know how, if you have a Pat McGrath palette, you know how heavy these are. Like, if someone broke in your house, you can just, doop, there you go, they're out. So you can do the same thing with this foundation bottle, because it is weighted. 10.7 amber, that's what she looks like. Hmm. I already know what you think. You're like, Andrew. That's what you're using? Look at your skin. I know, but I was watching, I think I've only seen one review of someone of a deeper complexion review this foundation. It was the Plastic Boy and we're the same Fenty shade. I'm 450 in Fenty. And so he had this shade and I was like, okay, so the foundation and I'm looking down at my me oh. hmm. that smell hmm that that was a choice um that could just be the um I mean I know it's the this looks really light oh my god wait hold on this looks really light um, it could be the, what's it called? Not could be. It's definitely, that smell is definitely coming from the, um, what's it called? The sunscreen in this foundation. Cause that, that is a strong sunscreen smell. I mean, it, I don't hate it though. It still smells like spices. You know how some of those, 
spice blend oh wow i mean i don't hate the smell it's just like wow that's a really strong smell it smells like spices and sunscreen if that makes sense um off the bat ooh, okay. do you guys see that that patchiness right there so for this to have the name shade and illuminate soft radiance foundation but it do you all see how dry i don't think this is picking it up it's like okay let me just so you know what let me let me finish the rest of my face hi so i know i said i was gonna come back with a full face and give my final thoughts and do a wear test and all that all that good stuff but i already have my thoughts on this foundation i'm just gonna tell y'all right now this foundation is going back to Nordstrom. I don't care. I don't care. I spent my own Negro coin on this foundation and this is going straight back to Nordstrom. This. Wow. I don't know if it's because of um I so like Maybe. up close and personal what the camera's not picking up is that I don't know what the hell. This is marketed as a radiant foundation, but this looks like a matte foundation on me right now. It right here looks really makeup-y and it looks like it grabbed onto I don't know how it, I don't want to say it grabbed onto dry patches because my face I moisturized in my skincare before all this and then I have like a really like I know for a fact it's not this baby girl. I know for a fact it's not this because I've used this primer with almost every foundation that I have and it looks flawless so it's definitely this foundation and then it also looks i don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up but over here before i even touch my face because i know some there's gonna be somewhere out there in the world that's gonna be like you touched your face no before i even did that and before i turned the camera back on it like it's patchy do y'all see that right like right here it's a mess <laughs> this foundation is going all the way back to Nordstrom. i don't look i know there's a lot of people out there that's like but you they need to throw this out. I don't know what Tom Ford was thinking about when he came out with this foundation. I'm so disappointed. I don't think you guys realize. I've been talking about this foundation since it like launched in January. I was all about just it. the formulation. I don't know who the hell okayed this. Who did that? Who did that? All right, half was. But thank you for um, thank you for taking the time out of your day to spend it with me, and I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to come back when I upload again. And yeah, all right, y'all. I gotta go and wash this off because I look a mess.